finish off our series on environmental history, today's date is 1987 and the signing of the Montreal Protocol. The Montreal Protocol was an international treaty ratified by 197 countries, which included the European Union, which aimed to phase out chemicals that caused ozone depletion. Now, ozone, also known as O3, is part of the ozone layer. These chemicals would interact with the O3, chemicals such as chlorofluorocarbons, and break down the O3, and that would mean that the UV light doesn't get absorbed by it. In 1973, the chemist Frank Sherrod Rowland and Mario Molina discovered what was happening, and a mere 14 years later, after the discovery, the treaty was ratified. The concern was that a hole in the atmosphere in the O3 would let in more UV radiation, and as a result, cancer rates would increase. Because of the treaty, by now, in 2022, the hole in the ozone layer has shown signs of shrinking. This date is significant because it shows that when a commitment is made and the science is listened to, positive and non-disruptive changes can occur to stave off environmental disaster, and this should serve as a model going forward to deal with climate change and other environmental concerns. To remember this date, let's imagine an ozone layer above the Earth. However, the chemicals get into the atmosphere and a hole appears, which widens into the date, the, d the problem is solved when a giant hand slaps Montreal the province over the gap, solving the problem. 1987, the signing of the Montreal Protocol. Thanks for watching.